Hello my little cherry blossoms and welcome to Juniper Valley. Today I'm going to be doing a Fallen Stars uh, video, but this is not going to be like your typical Fallen Stars videos. Normally I am deep into lore, acting the entire time, no introduction or anything, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to kind of go back to the style I used to do back before Fallen Stars started. Back before Fallen Stars started, I did a bunch of behind the scenes streams, and you guys really seemed to enjoy them, so I thought I would go ahead and do a behind the scenes style, there's a fish over there just chilling, um, but behind the scenes style video where I'm just going to be kind of working on my land and stuff like that. I also feel like for you, uh, for those who watch, Zoocraft might um, enjoy this. So, um, and don't worry, Zoocraft episodes will be coming out again very shortly. A lot has been happening in my personal life and just to name a couple things uh, without uh, spoiling anything that is like work related, um, Tomikichi uh, got a little stomach bug so I was taking care of him but right when he got a stomach bug we did something that was a very big change in our life. We ended up getting two kittens. I'll put some pictures on screen of them. They are so adorable. They are my little babies and I love them more than life itself But it was very hectic because I was basically having to take care of them all by myself and take care of Tomokichi while he was sick Now we are perfectly fine. Everyone is healthy, but uh, We can finally get back into what we're doing and I'm kind of catching up on work right now So that is why uh, Zoocraft has been a little bit behind. Don't worry. It'll come out soon But today I just had a driving push to do some Fallen Star stuff, but I also like the style of um, the uh, Zoocraft series a lot. It's it's very nice to be able to talk to you guys. Um, also, if you're wondering why I'm breaking them and not just uh, weeding them like 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 this, and if you're wondering why I'm going like this, is because I'm going to be moving my garden over here. Yes, I expanded my island. I'm still expanding it over there. Is kind of. That's good. There's, there's just a hole over there, you know. Um, I was supposed to go to the like excavation grounds type of area over there, um, and I was not able to because I got distracted by lore. So, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, now, in this video, there won't be any major lore, but there will be a little bit towards the end. So make sure to stay tuned for that if you guys want a little bit of the lore. Um, in the meantime, though, hi, how you guys doing? Long time no chat. I missed you guys so, so much. Um, it feels really good to be talking to you guys again. It is honestly so therapeutic to do videos um, and just talk and uh, you guys are always so sweet. Uh, my Discord server has an upcoming event going on on Halloween Eve. Uh, yeah, that's what it's called, <laughs> Halloween Eve. Uh, I am going to be doing a fun little uh, watch party thing, uh, a little movie night, if you will. Uh, we're gonna be watching Kiki's Delivery Service at 8 p.m. EST, uh, so go ahead over there and say if you're interested in joining. Um, and I would love to see you there. Um, I'll be on there and a bunch of my friends and uh, a bunch of the Discord members. So yeah, feel free to stop by if you like uh, Studio Ghibli movies or just want to have like a little witchy hangout with me. Now, I will say this dirt um, is going to have to be picked up and placed back down, which is kind of annoying because it won't uh, un like till the soil uh, since it is moistened, if that makes sense. Um, at least that's what I assume, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of some of this and then replace it afterwards. Now, will it be exactly the same as when I broke it? Probably not. I'm not really good at remembering that kind of stuff, but we shall see and we shall try our best to make it the same. Um, this current is really pushing me to the side here though. It's not It's not really letting me have much uh, room for uh, swimming around. Uh, let me get rid of these poisonous potatoes to pick up some more of this dirt. Yeah, there we go. You guys might notice there have been quite a few changes to my little island here um, in between lore streams. Uh, main thing is this bridge I built. I love it. Um, it's so that boats can still go underneath. Um, and I, I think the stone path was cute, but I, I really like how this bridge turned out. I think it suits the island much better and it makes it feel like it's more of a part of the main island. Um, and also I've been expanding the island as I showed you guys earlier, which has been a lot of fun. Um, also, if you guys did not know, I've been building, um, some stuff behind the scenes, uh, that it will be, um, not really shown for a little bit. I, I'm very excited to show you guys, though, um, outside of lore, because, you know, I can spoil you guys occasionally like that. Um, 
regardless, um, it is another city in the world and uh, me and my builders have been working really hard on it and I'm super, super excited to be able to show you. Um, the Amazing Cyan has been also helping out with it and yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun and I just want to say I love all the members so much. They are so sweet and you guys, you guys should go check out all their stuff and go support them because they are genuinely some of the sweetest people I have ever met online and in person and I just I want the I want them to I want them to have the world you know I want them I want them to have everything they want to have um and so please go check them out they're all linked down in the description below all the all the people um that have been so so helpful uh during everything so yeah go go check them out they're amazing um and yeah that's 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 about that's about all the updates for like behind the scenes fallen stars stuff um, outside of behind the scenes phones or stuff, there's been a lot of behind the scenes charmed academic stuff. And, um, I believe this video will be coming out before something that is coming out very soon. Um, but if you're watching this in the future, you may have already seen the thing that I'm referencing. And if so, how did you like it? And are you excited? <laughs> There's going to be a major update coming very soon, so make sure to keep an eye out for that, my loves. Also, another little update. I want to start doing uh, cozy game night streams. Um, I'll probably be starting them once Charmed Academics comes out because I'll have a little bit more time then um, because I pre-recorded all of Charmed Academics uh, and pre-edited. Oh no, I ran out of dirt. Okay, let's go over to the excavation grounds and keep talking to you guys. Um, I uh, pre-recorded and edited all of Charmed Academics, and if you don't know what Charmed Academics is, maybe you're just a Fallen Stars fan, or maybe you're new to the channel, or you're a ZooCraft fan, um, there are a bunch of different, uh, oops, there are a bunch of different, oh wait, I can just teleport. Let's go over to Moon's house. Hey. Oh god. <laughs> Apparently I was not on ground level when I teleported. Fun, fun. This is Moon's house, by the way. Also, look at these beautiful sunflowers. So pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead over here and kind of dig some dirt up. But yeah, if you don't know what Fallen Stars is, um, go check out, uh, there's a trailer and a theme song out right now, a little teaser trailer and the official theme song. Um, and really soon there'll be more. So if that's already out, I'll link it as well down below. But if it comes out soon, make sure to keep an eye out on the channel. Okay, I think we are far enough away where it's not gonna disturb Moon's like area or anything. So let's just go ahead and get rid of some of this dirt. Uh, to take back to our base. But yeah, as I was saying, I wanna start doing cozy game nights. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun. I have a bunch of cozy games I wanna play and I never have the time to play it outside of work. And I thought that doing streams would be a really easy way for me to be able to play them and hang out with you guys. Um, if you did not know, I have another channel called Izumi ASMR. Um, and I did a live stream uh, about a month ago, I'd probably say by now. Um, and it was a lot of fun. That audience is so, so sweet over there too, as well as you guys are. And I think merging you guys would be a lot of fun. I think you guys would get along really well. And I think that, I don't know, I just think that it would be a lot of fun to hang out with you all. Um, be able to spend some more time with you guys would be also amazing because I feel like I don't get to spend enough time with you guys like one-on-one -on -one anymore since I stopped streaming weekly. Um, and so, yeah, I think that that would be a lot of fun to do. If you have any cozy game suggestions, please, please, please let me know. Um, I would love to see it. Um, and hear what you guys have to say and hear your guys' suggestions. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'm so excited to be uh, doing more personal stuff again. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's get rid of some of these feathers. Oh no, it's getting dark. Okay, I have about two and a half stacks, so we should be good with that uh, just to finish off what we started. Um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm just gonna get away from this creeper. I am running low on food, so I'm just gonna teleport. I'm just gonna teleport. Oh my god, this is so stressful, please. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Okay, let's go to bed real quick. Let's, let's go to bed real quick. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like this kind of um, more down to earth, behind the scenes style phones or stuff. Cause normally I only stream behind the scenes. I never really record behind the scenes. 
Um, and I, I, I think it's a lot of fun to do. So I would really like to continue doing it more often. Also, a lot of super duper exciting stuff relating to Fallen Stars is coming soon to a science channel. So please go check it out and go support when you see that come up because she is working really hard on some really, really cool projects uh, relating to Fallen Stars. So I think you guys would really like it. Who's shooting at me? Seriously? Seriously? You got bad aim, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said it. I'm sorry I said it, okay? I'm sorry I said it. I'm sorry I said it. Huh, <sighs> jeez. So violent these days. I was also starting to expand my, like, coops over here. I wanted to make them a little bit bigger. Uh, mainly just, like, the sheep area. I wanted to combine the sheep and cow area into one area. Um, and so I need to get some more wood for that. I think I actually have quite a bit of fences. Um, but I, I don't, I don't think I have quite enough to finish it out how I imagine it. Like, I want to extend, like, I want to move the cows over here and make it just a very big area, and I want to extend the chicken coop all the way back here and actually make them, like, a little coop area. I think that'd be adorable. Okay, so now that we have the island back to kind of the way it was before I started, uh, gardening, um, I think that this will be a lot easier. I don't think it'll feel as claustrophobic and I think it'll look really pretty with the garden being over here instead. So let's go ahead and start uh, tilling the soil. Um, let's see. I do kind of want to get a water bucket just so that I can um, make more uh, hydrated soil. Because um, that's, that's the fancy word for it. Um, let's see... Do, do, do. I know I have iron, so I could make a bucket, but I'm pretty sure I already have a bucket. Yes, a bucket. There we go. Let's go ahead and replace that, and then we'll put, like, some seeds and stuff in these slots. I don't really need any of that, so I'm just gonna replace it with some seeds. Uh, lettuce seeds. I don't really need my sword right now. Um, okay, so I have strawberry seeds, lettuce seeds, wheat seeds... Oh god, there we go. Um, potatoes, and then I'll move my backpack up here so we can also have some blueberry seeds. Okay, so I think that's all the main seeds that I use. So let's go ahead and start planting. I think we're gonna have like one here, one here, and one here. So as for the future of Izumi Kai, aka my character in Fallen Stars, there is a lot of super exciting stuff coming to my character, a lot of really conflicting stuff coming up with my character, and a lot of really dangerous stuff coming up with all of the characters for that matter. Um, and I am just super excited to be able to show you guys the story that I have in mind for this character. Um, I think that she is one of my favorite characters I have ever made just because she is so... She's very similar to me in real life, and it, it's it's really cool to be able to kind of step back and do things I wouldn't normally do, but that still fit me as a person, if that makes sense. Uh, stuff I wouldn't say in real life, but really want to say, um, or stuff that I really want to accomplish, but I'm too scared, you know? Like, it, it's almost teaching me to really grab life by the balls and make it my bitch. <laughs> Izumi's really not the type of person yet in the story. She's very, very timid and um, a very, like, wants everyone just to get along type of person. But as she grows, you guys will learn that uh, she she's going to grow a lot. She's she's going to go through a lot of character development, and I'm very excited. There's nothing wrong with being sweet and passive, and I want to show that. Um, but I also want to show that with that, you also have to stand up for yourself occasionally and you also need to make sure that you do what you love for you and you alone um, Regardless of what others think. Let me can I grab that bow? Can I can I can I sneak sneak and sneak that bow? It's like so dead, but I could combine it with another bow I think I have other bows that I can combine it with. Okay, and like this is such a bigger area too Let me grab some more water real quick just for right over here such a big area over here to be able to garden. I think I think it's just like, it's really nice to have like a flat field. And I'm gonna try to be more organized with my crops this time. Like this is just gonna be strawberries. And then I'm gonna go into blueberries. And then I'm gonna go into wheat. And then some lettuce. 
And then finish it off with some more strawberries. Since I really wanna get into making like berry type things, if that makes sense. Um, like I, I make a lot of toast, um, and so I felt like making strawberry jam to go on the toast would be really cute. I think that would be adorable. As like a little snack in my inventory. And also, I know I can plant them on here too, but I, I really like the look of the tilled soil underneath. I don't know, it's, it's, it's a personal preference for sure. And there we go. Oh my gosh, I have so many things now. I kind of want to replace some of the lettuce with some more wheat seeds just because wheat is very versatile with like how many things it's used in or versatile, uh, depending on where you're from and how you say it. So I'm just gonna replace a couple of these lettuce because lettuce is kind of like, I don't really use lettuce all that much, but I like to have it just in case. I don't know if a recipe is gonna, you know, require it ever, you know, but you know, it's, it's nice to have at least a little bit of diversity in the garden. And there we go. Wow. Okay. I really like that my garden's not right outside of my house. And there's just this beautiful big path now that you can run across. I, I, it makes, it makes the island feel a lot less claustrophobic. Now this still feels incredibly claustrophobic. So I'm going to have to update that another time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And now stay tuned for just a little bit of lore. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Dear goddesses, I pray to you, please give me a sign, anything, put something in the chest in front of me, something that is a sign for me to become a cleric witch. A hat? A witch hat? I think I should do the ritual.